We do have a new segment right here that we will be bringing you each and every Thursday. Yeah, we're going to be bringing you local events happening in the weekend ahead to help you plan. And we're going to do that with our friend Danny from the Luke and Howe Morning Show on WLLR. Good morning, Danny. Hey, good morning, you two. So nice to see you. Great to see you, too. Glad to have you. Where do we want to start? The Maybe the Quad City Botanical Center Winter Nights, Winter Lights. Have you been to it, Danny? I have never, but I've seen so many great pictures, and it looks so great. There's so much to see. It's lovely. It's breathtaking. It's the outdoor gardens that will be in winter bloom, if you will, with over 160,000 glowing lights. I love that. By the way, it opens tomorrow at 530. Now, I brought Colton to this last year, and they have activities for the kids. So when you bring the kids, they, it's not just walking through the gardens and seeing this and a great photo opportunity, if you will. They actually have a lot of crafts projects and I think he had cookies last year. I can't remember exactly what uh, snack they provided, but they have stuff for the kids to do there as well. All right, let's move on now to Lighting on the Commons, another annual tradition for us here in downtown Moline. Annual Lighting on the Commons is Saturday night. That's when all those holiday lights turn on in downtown Moline. Now, the best place, I'm told, because I've never been before, is down by John Deere Commons on River Drive. And this is when the nearly thousands of lights on the Christmas tree at Vibrant Arena at the market. That's still a mouthful for me to say. When those lights turn on. Now, after those lights turn on, there's also a fireworks show, as you see there. Linda Swinford from WQAD will be flipping the switch at 6 o'clock. Now, wow. you can also meet Santa, do some wagon rides, live music from about 3.30 in the afternoon until about 6 p.m. So there's a lot to do. It's not just at six o'clock so okay is this plenty to do the real santa or santa's helper this is santa's helper okay because we were talking about this santa is uh santa's helpers they need they need them this year uh, around the country so apparently uh us here in the qca we we got lucky and we yeah. got a self santa helper santa's helpers are facing a supply chain issue <laughs> Just like everybody else. That was a big story this morning. All right, Danny, you want to talk about um, KSI's Hat Bash. Yeah, yeah, that's actually happen happening tonight. So about 6 to around 9.30, they'll have it in person. It's the first time it's been in person for a couple of years. So over at KSI, that's the, that's the cool spot. And then they have a silent auction that's going on right now. So you can check out those items, and that'll wrap up tonight at the Hat Bash. So that's pretty cool, helping out seniors. Um, and then also, I love this because I love the books. I love the movies. You can actually go over to the Adler Theater on Saturday and you can check out Harry Potter. They're doing another version. This is in uh, Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. And the Quad City Symphony Orchestra will be providing the soundtrack. How cool is that? You had me at Harry Potter. Okay, so I have to ask, Danny, if you are yes. not, I, I didn't jump on the Harry Potter bandwagon. What? I, I don't know why. When, did it, when was it popular? When I was a kid. Oh. Great. Yeah, in the 90s. Okay. The 90s, so I didn't yeah. I did not jump on what? this bandwagon. So if you're not familiar with Harry Potter, can you still go? Oh, yeah. I think, you know, I think all the stories are good by themselves. Of course, if you read the whole anthology or see all the mu movies, it kind of ties up loose ends, but I think they're all good on their own. And I could be wrong that this could be the 2000s. I, my kids were born in the 90s, and they're big Harry Potter people, so that's how I got sucked in. <laughs> okay. I, I was born in the late 90s, so I read them when I, in the 2000s when I was growing up. So it, you got some homework. Okay, today. well, I was in college, so I, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, they're thick books. You'll have some reading to do if you're going to catch up. Hey, Absolutely. Danny, before we let you go, we do want to talk about um, Toys for Tots. That's happening. It's the Tuesday after Thanksgiving. I don't have a calendar in front of me if my producer can give me the exact date because that's when I know you are helping us, and we are joining with the Marines, and they will be here at our station. They'll be there at the radio station as well. We're all collecting toys. It's the 29th. Thank you so much uh, to my producer, our producer, for helping us out on that. Um, so let's talk a little bit about that because you'll be out there, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. We're going to be there. We're going to be, um, I, I'm not sure if I'll like maybe put on a Santa hat and go out and try to wave people in or whatever, but we're going to collect some toys. We're going to do our best. And the mission, of course, obviously, every child deserves a toy to open up for the holiday season. So, you know, Danny, I don't know. Josh and I were just sitting here uh, shooting the breeze and talking about it. Now, we'd like to challenge you and your team. Uh, who is going to raise and bring in the most toys for the kids in our community? What say you? We here at the TV station or those folks there over at the radio station? Oh, it's station? totally going to be us. 
<laughs> I'm sorry. So uh, I don't know. I'm not going to challenge you to run a marathon. I'd like to do that, but I won't do that. How about, uh, what do you think? Breakfast? Uh, sure. I, I like breakfast. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Are we going to make Danny make places. us breakfast? I, I would I, make I you we, breakfast. Okay. I, I was going to say let's support local, but if Danny's going to volunteer, I'll take, I'll take any breakfast. Well, she'll shop local. For sure. There we go. To get the groceries. And she's you going to it. make the team. It's not just us. It's a team effort here. Okay. And if there's okay. some slight, small, itty bitty chance that you guys win over there at the radio station, then, uh, you know, Josh will make you breakfast. I did not volunteer. I was voluntold. <laughs> I would just like the record to reflect. <laughs> David's the chef of the family, but, yes. you know, he's not here right now, so I won't throw him under the bus. Danny, thank you so much. All right. The challenge is on. The date is November 29th. Please stop by here, WQAD. What's our address? 3003 Park 16th Street. Okay. Only took me two years to memorize <laughs> This it. is what we'll be collecting <laughs> the toys. <laughs> Danny, thank you. We'll see You're you soon. You're welcome. Have a great day.